dear friends, what a privilege it is to be with you again. I want to welcome you to week number six of our study in the book of Mark. I hope you have been blessed by it. I think this week will offer us another beautiful picture of who Jesus is uh, by learning about the miracles that he performed. Some of them. This week, we're studying miracles around the lake uh, in our study. Miracles that happened between Mark chapter four and Mark chapter six. And I am thrilled anytime I get to look at the miracle working power of Jesus. My name is Dwayne Esmond, and I welcome you to join me as we walk this week. And let me tell you, there's nothing like the miracles of Jesus to help encourage us that he can still do those miracles in our lives. Amen. Well, our scripture reading, our memory verse comes to us from Mark chapter 5 and verse 19, which says this. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. Don't tell anybody. Just go home and just tell people what Jesus has done for you. Don't speak it now. Tell them later. And that's a beautiful reminder of what we are to do. God has called us to tell people the good things that he has done for us. Uh, when Jesus does something for us and has compassion on us, we ought to say something. Amen. Well, Sunday's lesson takes us immediately into a powerful story that you have probably heard many times before. It's in Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. And the Bible tells us there that as the disciples, Jesus had been ministering all day. And then, then the scripture says that the disciples took him as he was, as he was. He was exhausted. He was tired. And in the evening, after teaching from, from the boat to the multitudes that were right on the shore, Jesus falls asleep immediately in the, in the boat and a great wind, a great gale force wind and storm arises on the Lake of Galilee. And let me tell you, I've been on that lake. I know those winds and I can tell you without a doubt, they come up very, they can come up very fiercely and very strong. And, uh, and Jesus is asleep. He's calm. He is resting. Even as water begins to fill the boat, the disciples are panicked and they, they wake him up and say, Master, don't you even care about us? Don't you care that we are perishing? Jesus simply says to the wind and the waves, be still, hush, be quiet now, and they calm down. The disciples are incredulous as they watch this scene, as the waves come right back down. Jesus then says to them, why are you so worried? Have you no faith? What happened to your faith? You've been with me now for a while. What's, what's wrong with your faith? Why is your faith defective? Jesus was not mocking them. He was simply saying to them, listen, I'm in the boat with you. And nothing can happen to you while I'm here with you. Trust in me. And the same is true of us. This is what's called a theophany or partial theophany, which we'll learn in this week's lesson. A theophany has five parts. It has a display of divine power. It has human fear. It has a command not to fear. It has, number four, a revelation of the of, of, of God, of who God is in the appearance. And then number five, a human response to the to the revelation. And here we have four of the five. We have Jesus calming. We have Jesus telling them not to fear. We have the disciples incredulous saying, what in the world is going on? And we have a hint in the last part. Uh, uh, we have a hint at the end of this revelation of who God is when the disciples wonder, who is it that can calm the winds and the waves? What kind of person is this? Beloved, it's all telling us one simple story. We've got Jesus. Jesus in the boat and we can trust him. May God bless in our study today.